All right, we've got uh, some viral videos in this segment. Welcome back to the show, by the way. My name's Jeremiah Raber, uh, President and CEO of Nutshells, LLC. This oh. one was shared so many times when we posted it on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, we, we, ha we had to hear more. And uh, what, what he's doing here is he's testing a, a bulletproof apparatus called Nutshells. No. Where this guy is shooting what looks like an automatic weapon. No. At, at his boss's private area. No. no. Yeah, oh, yes. Yes, and uh, are we, we're gonna watch. Let's watch this for a second before uh, before we move on. <gasps> that little click. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's no coming back from that, man. Ready? Oh my god! Oh, how can you be? No, ready? watch, 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 watch. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Oh! No! Oh, oh no! Uh, so uh, we're, tonight we're talking to Matt Heck uh, on Skype, and Matt is the guy who actually did the shooting. Yeah. He was the actual shooter. Now, uh, how you doing, Matt? Thank you very much for coming on the show tonight. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, Tony. So uh, we we had an opportunity to talk to your boss, but I was more interested in talking to you, the guy who <laughs> did the shooting. Uh, okay. Now. Uh, First, why you? Are you like a super marksman or something? Like, why? Why did they pick you? Well, no, I'm. I, we're we're business partners. He's the founder, the CEO, and the inventor. But I am uh, a partner and handle the business operations side. I just so happen to grow up hunting. Uh, I've been shooting handguns, rifles, shotguns, archery since I was a kid. So. Uh, and to be real truthful, nobody else wanted to do it. Anybody that was even close to being professional or semi-professional wanted no part of, uh, of this kind of situation. Well, uh, we got a bunch of questions when we posted it on Facebook. Uh, first off, uh, what kind of gun? Uh, it was in uh, Smith & Wesson AR-22. Uh, another question was, uh, w was there any bruising around the, the, uh, the, 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 the apparatus, I guess, the nutshells thing? Yeah. No. No, there was very minimal impact felt whatsoever on his part. And uh, another, is it is it reusable forever? How long is it warranted for? Like, how many gunshots could it take before it starts to get damaged? Well, I shot with that with that rifle. I shot multiple times before the product started to break down and the lamination started to deconstruct. I wouldn't recommend anybody reuse a product that's been shot again. But if you just happen to take multiple rounds, depending on the caliber, that particular gun, it would have stopped several rounds before it would have started to break down enough to penetrate through. I, I just have a question. Like, who's getting shot in the groin that yeah, many I get, times? I guess, who are, who are, who are the, uh, who's your target, who's the your target customer for Armored Nutshells? So, so we have three primary markets. One is the high impact athlete. Believe it or not, there are a lot of athletes in sports like hockey and baseball, yeah. uh, cross. They get their cups shattered when a five or six ounce object is traveling at speeds 80, 90 miles an hour or more, which is uh, typical even in high school and college levels nowadays. Yeah. If that takes a direct blow to the cup, most of the other products out there, they're going to crack, they're going to break. They're just not made to withstand that kind of impact. <laughs> So the problem is when that happens, the injuries that occur are catastrophic. We're talking about things like surgical procedures, infertility, lost testosterone production, things that are devastating to a young male athlete. The other market would be professional law enforcement figures, uh, especially your frontline guys like SWAT, DEA, different kind of people that are in harm's way often. Uh, and then lastly would be the, the military figure. And guys that are out on, you know, IED patrols, doing things where they're in harm's way, uh, they're, you know, there's no level of value you can place on protecting right. these kind of assets. In and fact, I'm sure, one that, I'm sure one there's last a thing. small segment of your uh, of your customer base that's just afraid of getting shot in the nuts. Yeah, <laughs> probably so. Your weekend warrior, your Navy SEAL wannabes, people like right. that. That makes sense. I could have used that now. In uh, Matt Heck, thank you very much for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Uh, Absolutely. It, it is a it is an amazing product. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Good job, Matt. That's uh, better. I used to use a sock, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it was not not for protection, but for uh, for aesthetics. I understand. Yeah. All right. Now, 